Hello everyone, uh, thank you very much for joining me in this video. Uh, uh, in this particular video, we'll talk about a stored procedure called SP who is active. Uh, when you download and install the SQL Server in your local machine or in the server, uh, the SP who is active is not comes with a SQL Server because it is not designed or it is not installed by a SQL Server by default. So this SP who is activity is a stored procedure who is written by Adam Mechanic. Uh, uh, and I would like to give him a thank for his uh, awesome work. And why this SP who is active using for? So SP who is active is a much more powerful way to analyze what's happening right now in your database. So you can use the stored procedure to get the information from your database and to analyze what's wrong or what is causing issue in your database. For example, long running session, for example, uh, blocking, for example, uh, what kind of uh, statistical query is running in this particular machine in this particular time, and those they are causing issue. So we can get those amount of information and much more after using this particular stored procedure. Uh, that being said, you still can use SP who or SP who two or activity monitor to get those information. But SP who two is the most powerful way uh, you can get a very good amount of information to troubleshoot any kind of issue, uh, especially for the performance related uh, in your SQL server. All right. Um, so, um, so basically, this this uh, store procedure basically is a work from SQL Server 2005 to 2017. I think even it is work 2019 as well. Um, so in this particular video, I'm going to show you how can you uh, I'm going to show you how can you uh, download and install um, SP who is active as uh, a store procedure in your server. And just, I want to say it is only for the study purposes. Uh, if you're learning or if you're trying to be a database administrator, uh, this video can help you a lot. So, okay, so uh, in this video, we'll, we'll see how can you download the SP who is active and how can you install and how can you use it uh, in your, uh, in that is in uh, SQL Server. So let me go to my SQL Server Management Studio. And as you can see, I open a, uh, the website. I will give you a link. Uh, a description link uh, on this video and you will get this link. Uh, so follow this link and it will take you in this particular site. So here, from here, we can download uh, SP who is active zip file after clicking in this particular link. So if you click on this particular link, but I would see it try to download uh, the latest version, which is gonna be uh, SP 11, October 18, 2016, try to download this one. I don't try to download the recent version. Okay, so after you download, you will get a zip file. As you can see on the on down there, you will get a zip file. So uh, you need to uh, click on it, show in a folder, and then all you have to do click on uh, click on uh, extract all. Then that means uh, this file will unzip. But I already did the unzip file over there, and my file is unzipped. So now let me go to uh, SQL Server Management Studio and let me run this particular query called SP who is active. And as you can see, I'm not able to see, is the, it is saying could not find stored procedure SP who is active. That means what? Uh, this system, st this stored procedure is not installed in my, uh, in my server. And my server name, as you can see, PNYFT17 underscore MS4. Okay, so now let me show you how can you install this stored procedure in your server. So click on file, go to the uh, open, and then go to the file, and then uh, go to uh, the location where you unzip uh, the file. And after you unzip, you will get this, uh, you know, this uh, uh, TSQL file. Click select on it, select on it, and then click on open. And as you can see, uh, the file is open, and it is uh, kind of very big. Uh, you know, this kind of are very big. So, okay. So now I let click on execute and it will take some time and it is already installed um, in, your, in your machine. All right. So now let me go over there and, and try to do the same thing. Uh, try to run this particular uh, stored procedure called SP who is active. We can execute. And as you can see, uh, we can see there are so many, like I can see any kind of information there. So why I'm not seeing any kind of information there because it is a brand new server 
and I there's nothing going on inside of your inside of this uh, particular uh, server. Uh, let me go to my another server, and if I go my um, this server, and if I open a new query session, and here if I type sp who is active, and if we click on, and then uh, then we can see we get the output. So, and the first output we are seeing the time, how long, how the particular, how from how long this particular T-SQL query is running under this session ID. So if you click on here, then you can see this particular T-SQL, you can see that what type of T-SQL query and what are the T-SQL queries running under this SP ID. So if you click on there, let's say uh, we want to see um, in session ID, what type of uh, T-SQL query is running, just click on, uh, on, 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 on the particular T-SQL text and it will appear on the new query window and this particular thing is running under this uh, this session ID. Um, then you can see the login name, uh, then you can see um, a blocking session. If you have any blocking in, in the particular server, the blocking will be displayed in this, in this column. Then you can see uh, our read, you can see physical read, and then you can see the memory, you can see the status of the particular session ID. Uh, you know, and also uh, we can see the particular session ID running under which database, uh, all of the database, for example, uh, this particular session ID, uh, this particular se session ID 57, uh, which is running is a one second and 200 millisecond. And this 57 is running against of on this particular peer-to-peer -peer, uh, peer -peer, uh, database. And that's the program name. Uh, this, uh, this, this is the time when the particular particular T SQL started executing, and this is the particular time when login to the SQL server. So this is the way we can get very good amount of information after using SP who is active. And uh, yeah, I showed you how can you download and how can you install um, um, SP who is active, and this only for the study purposes. And thank you very much for watching. Watching. If you have any question, you can send me email and I will try to reply as soon as possible. I thank you and we will see you in next video. Bye-bye.